Today we're looking at how to search in Google Sheets. So we're going to look at a couple tools of finding data. And at the end of this video, we're going to look at ways of replacing the data once you've found it. So first off, a quick and easy way to find a specific piece of data is using Google's Find tool, which you can get to by using Control F on PC or Command F on a Mac. And you just have this quick pop-up Find in Sheet tool pop up over here. And let's say uh, we found out that on our sales data, we have a widget 12 um, that we do not have. It was typed incorrectly, so it should be widget one. Now this data set is very small and it wouldn't be too hard to find. But if you had thousands of rows of data, we probably want to use some kind of tool to find that row. So we can just simply type in widget 12 and Google tells us that automatically highlights the first result and it tells us how many there are. So it tells us one of one. So if we add another one here, now Google tells us to look at one of two, and we can click on this up and down button to scroll between the search results. Now, the other things we have here, this X's out the search, and this one brings us to our find and replace window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it just to show you that. And we're gonna circle back to this in a second after we go through the filter tool. So this is one way of looking up data. Another way is using Google's built-in filter tool. So Google's filter tool, you can find it right here under create a filter or also under data, create a filter. So first off, we want to select the data that we want to filter. So I have the data right here. Now I have some other data on the bottom that I don't want to filter in with this, but let's say this entire tab was our data as it would probably likely be in your case. So in that case, you can simply click up on this upper left between A and one on this just empty square. And you can see now our entire tab is selected. And so if we do that, we can just click on the filter tool and be ready to go. Since we only have data on part of this, I'm just gonna select the data I want to filter, click this create a filter, and you can see it adds these little horizontal bars next to each column header. So if we wanna find that widget 12, I can click on this next to product. And you can see at the bottom, it shows check marks by all the widgets that are currently being displayed. So the check mark shows what's being displayed, and if you uncheck, it's gonna hide it. So if we want to just see widget 12, I could go through here and uncheck all these. Another thing I could do, because potentially there's gonna be a lot of these, I can simply click clear, and then just click on the one I want to select. Now again, if there's a lot of products in here, you may want to actually type in search, and then Google will show you the results, and I can simply check on the one I want to see. Click OK, and I can see only the result I need to see, widget 12, and I can adjust this as need be. All right, so that's it for the filter tool for now. And let's go ahead and go back to find and replace. So let me get rid of this filter. Let's go back to find and replace, and we're gonna walk through more in-depth ways of how to use this. And we have different options here, so we're gonna walk through those real quick. So one thing on this data set is we have this lowercase Dave, and so maybe we want to replace that just to make things consistent and clean. And so first off, we can just search for Dave. So if we just type in Dave, currently we're on all sheets. And this means it'll look on each tab or sheet in the spreadsheet itself. So here we have two customer sales and agent data. So if we leave in all sheets, we click find. And then each time I click find, it's going to cycle now to the next result. So we can scroll through the ones on this tab or a sheet. If I click find again, It'll take us to the next sheet. And then if I click find again, it brings me back around to the first tab. Now, if I only want to search in this sheet, if I click again through this, now you can see it doesn't take me to agent data, it stays on this sheet. Now maybe I'm only wanting to search in here because we have one down here. I can do specific range and it automatically grabs, um, let's go ahead and put two through B23. And now if we click find and you scroll through this, you can see it only searches now in that data range that I specified right here. So you can type this in or you can do this selection here and go back in there and then find again. All right, so let's stick on this sheet for now. And um, we have two things here. We have Dave and Dave Jenkins. 
So this could be the same person, maybe it's separate. So we're gonna look, we're gonna assume either way, so that way we can look at how to find the correct ones. So if Dave and Dave Jenkins are separate, um, we may only wanna find just Dave and not Dave Jenkins. So some of this will get into some complicated searches and you might have to get creative, but let's just look at how to do this. So we have Dave and Dave Jenkins. If we just want to look at Dave, we can click this match entire cell contents and it's going to ignore the ones that have more than just Dave in them. So now you can see it's ignoring, if I scroll down through here, it's ignoring the Dave Jenkins. So if we only want to place Dave and capitalize it, we can click replace all and you can see now it just replaced just those and not the Dave Jenkins. Now, what happens if, let's undo this real quick and go back, pull this window back up. What if we only want to place Dave Jenkins and not Dave? So one trick that you can use here, if we're trying to exclude this one and include this one, is actually add a space, because there's actually a space between Dave and Jenkins, and there's not a space after Dave. So then I can do this. Let's just keep it to this sheet and hit replace all. And you can see replace that. Now one thing you notice is I actually didn't put a space after the second one, so now it removed that space. So let me go ahead and undo that. We'll do that again real quick. Dave, Dave, make sure I add a space after. I'll just do this sheet again, replace all, and now you can see it did it correctly. So you wanna make sure they use the same syntax and formatting to get the results that you're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and replace the rest of the Daves now. So now we can remove that space. And let's go ahead and do match entire cell contents just to make sure we're not messing up our original Dave. And there we go. Now let's look at the rest of these. So this match case, so what happens if, let's actually rewind back one. So if we have Dave and Dave Jenkins, this one's capitalized and this one's not. So another way we can exclude is actually matching by case. So let's go ahead and do the sheet and say, let's say we're changing Dave to David. So if we match case, it's gonna look for a lowercase Dave and replace it with a David with an uppercase D. So if we match case, it's going to look for a Dave with a lowercase D, um, and so it's gonna match the case of each letter in our search. So if we click replace all at this point, it should only replace Dave with David. And so you can see now, our Dave remains the same, but our David gets changed. Let's go ahead and rewind again, and let's look at another search. So we've done match case, match entire cell contents. Let's look at search using regular expressions. So we're just gonna use a sample here, and regex has a lot to it, so it's more than we can cover in this video. We're just gonna show you an example of this is searching for lowercase letters. So let's keep it in this sheet, and let's do find. I'm sorry, we need to check search regular expressions. Let's try it again. So find, and now we can see it's returning a lowercase d um, for Dave. So it's returning everything that starts with a capital or a lowercase letter. So let's go ahead and check that. Let's change this Alberto to lowercase. Let's do our search again. Make sure let's do this case or this sheet. Write your expressions. Find and scroll down through here. And here we get to Alberto. So that's an example of using regex. Now let's look at the other ones we have here. So we have searching within formulas. So as soon as I click that, you can see I have some formulas down here and it's highlighting them. So let's say we have lowercase Dave. So you can match case, find. Now, if you notice, it's searching everywhere now because it's including searching within formulas. So if we scroll down, now you can see it pulls me inside this formula showing me that this one actually has lowercase Dave in that. And again, you can see the formula pop up here, another lowercase Dave. So let's go ahead and replace 
the lowercase Dave with the uppercase Dave. We're going to do it inside the formulas as well. So we're going to match case. Let's go ahead and place all. Let's do Alberto. Replace all. And then let's jump to our next tab and do this again. Now what we have here, let me actually exit this for a second. So here we actually have the links. So this is the insert link from here. And it actually puts in a link to that um, cell. So to replace the text inside here, so if we look at this, we can see we actually have Dave inside this link. So what if that was actually misspelled and that's supposed to be David? So if we go back to here, we can take Dave, David. Let's just do the sheet and search within links if we find. So first off, we'll find that one. And now it's looking within that link. So if we need to replace, we replace, replace. And now we replaced that inside the link. All right, let's look at another case that you may want to replace some data. And this is another instance with formulas. So first of all, let's look at these formulas down here. So we have this empty um, set of cells over here with agent net. We have the number of sales calculated, or the dollar amount, the number and dollar amount of sales. But let's say we want to calculate the agent net as well. So we could type our formula in here, or we could use our find and replace tool to convert this formula into the one we need. So let's just go ahead and copy this formula, paste it over here. And the problem is we're having the wrong column. So I could change this like this um, and fix it like that. But let's say um, I want to take all these formulas and drag them over. And so now if I want to replace each one of these, I'd have to go through each, each formula in each cell to replace them. Or I could use my find and replace. So I'm going to just simply select where I want to replace this. Grab the cell range I want to change. Control H for find and replace. Copy in my range. So currently we're summing in F. And I want to sum in H. So I'm going to copy again. Replace once my F with H. And I already have specific range because I highlighted it when I pull up this find and replace. And what I want to do now is check also search within formulas. Click replace all. And you can see it replaced four instances. And now it's replaced just these four formulas with my new range for my sum. All right, let's look at a couple formulas in conclusion that we can use to find. And so the formulas we have are find, search, and match. So for find, find looks within a cell. So maybe we want to see if we have um, Dave within this cell. And so what find does is it tells you, we click enter. Let's not do autofill. So it tells us the character in which it finds that string. So in B6, it tells us it finds that at the beginning. So let's go ahead and just swap this around. And I can see it tells us it starts at character nine. So search is fairly similar. We click search. Um, works very similar to find. And we can see it returns the same result change this back to the way it was you can see those both turned to one now match so we can see that helper text so search type one finds the largest value and zero finds the exact value so if we go match widget 12 our search range and we want to do an exact match so the one 
is the largest value, so that's going to be a sorted data set. So we want to find the exact value, so we're going to do zero. And so what this tells us, so these are telling us the number of characters where it finds that in that cell. Match is going to tell us the row, the row number more specifically. And so we actually accidentally started this at four. Let's go ahead and start at one. And it tells us row five. So if we look here, row five, there's widget 12. Now one thing, note, so for example, maybe you just did that data set starting at C2. Now it tells us it's in row four, which it is in row four of the data set. We can see here it's actually in row five. So just, just keep in mind, wherever you start is where it's searching from. So if we start at the top of the data set in row one, then it's gonna return the actual row corresponding. But if we're doing just inside the data, not including the header, then it's actually returning the row inside the data that we've selected. All right, so that's a number of different ways to find and search in Google Sheets. And we've showed you a number of different ways to also replace data once you've found it. I hope that was helpful to you. And be sure to check out our other videos and resources. Thank you.